Okay, YouTube, so you may have seen my earlier video about my 97 Toyota Previa that had a very severe head gasket leak. I had uh, water, um, coolant getting into the oil, the crankcase. I had coolant coming out of the tailpipe at a pretty aggressive rate, lots of, lots of steam, and um, uh, just really, really bad news. So in hindsight 2020, it was more of a head gasket leak than any of these products were equipped to fix, and none of them worked, but some of them actually did have um, an effect on it. And so I wanted to review these products for you based on uh, my experience, the reputation at the auto parts store, um, the ease of use, and the, um, the money back guarantee, which all of them claim they have, but some of them are easier to, um, um, to take advantage of. So basically this is my ranking with the number one here and the last one here. Uh, and I'll go through bottom up to give you my reasons for these. Uh, number one, bars leaks. This is the first one that I bought. I was taken by the $10 rebate, um, and I didn't know any better about which one to get. Uh, it really didn't work. And in fact, this is in the beginning before the head gasket got worse, which happened over time as I was experimenting with these. Um, but the bars really didn't put a dent in it. Uh, the, the, the auto parts store guys didn't say anything good about it. They didn't say anything bad about it, but they said that these others were ones that, that folks swore by. Uh, and on top of that, this is the only one that I've not been able to get my money back for because uh, unlike the others, in order to uh, jump through all the hoops, you have to get a mechanic to sign off saying that there was a head gasket um, that was blown and that um, the person uh, used this and it still wasn't fixed. I could not get a mechanic. I tried two different mechanics. Neither one wanted to sign off on something like that. And the reality is that most of us that are using this are probably not mechanics. We're trying to avoid a trip to the mechanic. Mechanics aren't going to want to sign off on this because they want you to go to the mechanic. So, you know, bars leak. Why put money back guarantee if you're not going to make it possible for somebody to take it? So bars is in last place. Now, these are three final companies. You know, Blue Devil is the same company with two slightly different products. All three companies uh, and products, the four products, have good reputations at the auto parts store. And they're all fairly straightforward to use. Um, K&W had a good reputation by many people. It comes with a lot of products, so if it doesn't work the first time, you can do a second application. It's the only one that gives a double your money back guarantee, but they are almost tied with the bars leak in terms of how difficult it is uh, to get your money back because the PDF form that you have to fill out is only unlockable if you sign up for a free trial with a certain company that will release it to you, and then you have to give your credit card information then you have to set a reminder to unsubscribe from that um, service. Otherwise, it's going to charge you a monthly basis to have a PDF viewer. So I was really mad at K&W for having that kind of a hoop to jump through uh, in order to get your money back. But I did it, and I got my money back. And once I did all that, they actually sent me a check fairly quickly. And what I will do is put a Google Doc in the comments uh, to that blank form so that if you want to try this product and take advantage of it, you don't have to do all the stuff I did and you can just download that form. So, um, uh, also in my Toyota Previa, I did not see any results from this product, uh, which leaves uh, K Seal and Blue Devil. And now, um, with the uh, Blue Devil here, I didn't see any difference in performance. It didn't slow the leak at all, um, like these two did, uh, but it does have a good reputation and its money back guarantee uh, is very strong. Now, this leaves. Blue Devil and K-Seal. This one's a little bit different, like I said, but now I'm going to basically talk about why this one's number one and this one's number two. Uh, K-Seal has a great reputation at the auto parts store. It's the easiest one to use. They don't have a bunch of stuff. You know, the K&W, I had to take the hose off my radiator and pour it down in there. Uh, the others, um, it has to be cold, etc., etc. K-Seal doesn't care. Hot or cold, expansion tank, you can pour it in wherever you want. Um, and they guarantee quick results, and I'll, I'll be surp I'm surprised. I, I um, did not expect this one to do well, and it actually slowed my leaking for a time, um, which none of the others put a dent in it like that. And so I do think if somebody had a slow head gasket leak where you're getting little uh, exhaust gases in your um, coolant, or if uh, a slight leak with steam, um, this would have my highest confidence to patch up a leak like that. So um, K-Seal Ultimate, it didn't work for my Previa. They were also the quickest and the easiest to get my money back. So K-Seal seems to be standing behind their product uh, really, really well. Now Blue Devil was right behind them in terms of ease of getting my money back. 
they were a little bit harder to use with a little bit more stipulations. And I want to say something about this one here. Um, the the K seal, uh, no, I'm sorry, the Blue Devil um, head gasket sealer. This is the pour and go. This is the convenient one that's meant to compete with these others. Uh, but this one is a little bit different because to use this one, you have to drain all your coolant, remove your thermostat, flush the system. I got their, their flush. They have two different ones. I got their uh, more expensive extreme flush, really wanting to give it the best chance I could. Uh, and then you run this through with just water and you let it run for an hour. Now, I did not see any results with this one, but the guy at the auto parts store, I think he said he had a Chevy 350 with an aluminum head. Maybe it wasn't a Chevy 350, but he showed me a picture of the aluminum head and it actually built up a bunch of um, metal looking stuff. It didn't look like a weld or a braze, just kind of a clumping. And he said that it was like a mechanical metal kind of fix. So um, if somebody I knew were going through this process to try these, I would forget about these three. I would start with the case seal pour and go. And if that didn't work, drain and flush your system and go with the Blue Devil head gasket sealer, uh, following all of its directions. And I would say if neither of those work, you probably need to replace your head gasket. So I hope you found that review helpful. I have hours and hours of footage of me trying all these, but then I thought nobody really wants to see that. If you do want to see that, you know, if enough of you do, let me know. I, I would turn it into a video, but that's a lot of editing and time. Uh, and as I've been asking normally, uh, I have like 300 subscribers. I'd love to get up to 1,000 so I can flip that switch for monetization, which simply means that I would get a little bit of the money for ads instead of all of it going to Google and YouTube. So if you found this helpful and you'd be willing to hit that subscribe button, I would sure appreciate it. Uh, maybe I can make back the money that I didn't get back on the bars leak. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, and again, if you leave comments down below, that's also a lot of wisdom from experience that other people can benefit from as well. I think that's all I got. Thank you very much.